Hey guys, so today I'm going to be cleaning up the front flower bed. I have to get rid of a bunch of the annuals that are up there. Now that the weather has gotten a lot colder here in Ohio, yeah, some things are just not looking that great. And I have bulbs that I have to prep to, uh, well I need to clean up the area to prep to plant bulbs. Um, I'm still waiting on a few bulbs to get, um, kind of because I'm holding out for some deals at the local stores. If I don't get around to them, it's not the biggest, you know, not the big biggest deal right now. I do have an order from Dutch Grown um, that will be getting planted up and it'll actually be happening in the new flower bed here. Um, but aside from that, I'm just going to get started on that and um, just try to get ahead of the game. We're actually expecting some really great temperatures this week. Um, so I'll be able to accomplish a lot more from there. But I pretty much just need to get a head start on cutting some stuff back and cleaning up. So that's what I'll be doing today. So as you can see right here, we've got the coleus and some gumfrina and the black and blue salvia and a few odds and ends that could be cut back by now. Um, so I'm just gonna dive right into that. We will be leaving the Mystic Illusion dahlias. Don't mind my display up there. Those pumpkins, the big pumpkins are staying. Those little ones are coming out today as well. But I'm um, just going to do some simple cleanup around here and just kind of see what I have to work with. So let's get started. see I just pulled out two of my pensamins. Literally the leaves look just like the truffle pink gumfrina so I have to put those back in um, and probably move them period just because underneath the cardoon is where they're at and I just kind of lost sight of them so they probably should be brought out and put out over here. Um, I may put them in a different area because this soil seems to be staying pretty moist Whereas I know another area is a little bit more dry and that's the way pensamin like it. They don't like their feet wet. 
Um, they don't like staying consistently moist, and surprise these three are still alive. I thought I planted a few more than this, so I'm gonna have to go dig around a little bit more. Um, but I know I have three of them, it looks like. So um, I'm gonna keep cleaning up and I'm gonna get everything in order. Okay, so I went ahead and pulled out that last uh, penstemon. So there's a total of one, two, three, and four. Four healthy root systems here. The plants will come back in the spring um, looking a lot better, but you can see the beautiful blooms here. It's absolutely amazing. And this one has been going for so long. Um, I will have to look up the name on this one. I'm not quite sure what variety it is. I purchased it at Lowe's for, as a clearance plant, um, but I think I'm going to take these and move these. And I'm thinking actually right over in here, possibly, um, or maybe out to one of these beds out here. So let's get to it. getting ready to um, like pull some of these plants over in this other bed and then I realized I have not shown you guys anything of this bed so maybe we should incorporate a quick garden tour uh, in this video. So. so before we get into the garden tour I am it is quite busy here on the main street as you know we live on the main road here so traffic is quite heavy right now people are getting home from work and such so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, some video of this area and place the names on the screen of what's in the bed and just kind of let you take a moment to see what is all there. So I hope that is enough for you because it is very, very busy.
obviously I didn't show you everything. The whole part that goes out towards the um, street is a hedge line of yews, but it is so busy up there and a lot of things are just kind of dead at this point. Not dead, but like pretty much eh. That's why I was kind of like hesitant to show you some of the areas. But that bed was installed um, earlier on in the year and um, it, it came out pretty good. I really like it. Um, I'll be curious to see how it rebounds, but I'm about to rip out um, some of the stuff up there just because bulbs are coming and I want to get those in order. But that I think is actually going to wrap up this video today. Um, just did some cleanup and gave you a short little garden tour and I hope you have enjoyed that much. Um, we are going to be doing some bulb planting this week, so I'll be looking forward to that video coming up. So, Talk to you later, guys. Bye.